What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there. Also, they asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Uh, this video is entitled You Want Stuff, But You Don't Take Care of Stuff. Excuse me for the thing. A lot, let's take this and be real. A lot of people want stuff, but they don't take care of stuff. This is kind of, this has had this comes from a conversation I had with my son. Bought him a tablet, and it's broken. My son has a history of breaking stuff, right? And then he gets mad. But I need another one. No, you don't. And I had told him, he's like, but, 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 but. I didn't break it this time. And I was like, listen, do you remember the last time I bought you a tablet? I bought you a tablet and a, and a, and a tablet protector and a case to hold a tablet. He's like, yeah. I said, what'd you do? I took it out of the case and then I broke it. So I bought you another tablet years later. And what did you do? In weeks time, it broke in. You don't need one. But over the years, you know, that's a child. Too still too old to be to, to have that mentality, but a lot of adults have this mentality. They want stuff. They just don't take care of stuff. You know, I want to be rich, but you blow your money. You want stuff. You know, you want money, but you don't know how to take care of money. Okay, you know, I want a banging body, but you don't take, you don't eat right, and you don't exercise. You want stuff, but you don't take care of stuff. You know, I know people who want to be. I want to have kids. No offense, but I've never seen you take care. You can't even take care of a goldfish. You want stuff, but I want to, because there's a lot of parents out here who wanted kids, thus they never took care of them. So you want stuff, but you don't take care of stuff, you know. And then it's this mentality where, you know, uh, if you could just get more stuff, it would, you know, you could take care of it. And what I've noticed over the years is, this is, you know, a lot of, there, we are, <laughs> screw it. There's a lot of stupid people out here. Who just want more stuff to not take care of. You know. And you wonder why. You don't have anything. It's because you don't take care of stuff. I know people who have. Uh, um, have had numerous cars. In the last 5 to 10 years. You're like why you have so many cars. I know why. You didn't take care of them. Oh you didn't get the oil change. Uh, breakdown. Oh you didn't check the, the fluid in it. Breakdown. You didn't get a tune up. Breakdown. The tires went on on extra flat. It was extra bald. You didn't get new tires. Boom. Blow out. Stuff happened to the car. Breakdown. So now you need another one. And another one. And another one. And some of these people wind up kind of upside down in these loans because the car ain't paid off or, or near paid off, so you get another car, and then you transfer that debt, and then you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again. And it's like, okay. And I've seen some people who paid off cars, and I'm, I got my car paid, and now they don't have, now they got to walk everywhere and get a ride everywhere because they paid off cars, numerous cars, but they never took care of them, so they have no car. And you know what they want? I want a new one. Oh, I want one. Oh, you can't, no. You, you, no. You're not going, you know, oh my God. You know, I know people who want, I want a better job, but they either quit jobs or get fired because they don't do their job. You want stuff, but you don't take care of stuff. And then when the bills do, you stress. I'm stressed out. I don't know what to do. Just make it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder why, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur, but you can't take care of of your accountant or your merchandise. You know. I want a, I want a relationship. But you. Don't want to take care of another person. 
You want stuff, but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to actually, you know, be in a relationship with them. <laughs> you want them to be in a relationship with you. You know, you want, you want a relationship, but you don't want to take care of it. You want somebody else to do that. You know, you want, you know, I know people, I want a house, I want my own place. And then you wonder why the place looks like trash because you never took care of it. You didn't clean it up. You know, I hate, I, and boy, I'm about to stay. And I don't like some, and some of you people are haters because I mean, this is what, what winds up happening. A lot of people want stuff, but they don't take care of stuff. And then they don't have stuff anymore. And then what they do is now they need to use your stuff. And, wh and what do they do? They mess up your stuff. That's what they do. They mess up your stuff. And, you know, that ain't nothing. Yeah, that's why you ain't got nothing. Cause everything ain't nothing to you. That and you know, you you, you gonna replace that stuff? Uh, Cause see, some people, I gotta make the faces. I don't know why, but I gotta. But some people don't wanna be honest about. They just they're destructive people. You know, I, I years ago I was talking to a friend of mine. And they was like, I just wanna travel and be in hotels and get room service. And I was like, yeah. It makes sense. You you know, you can't even keep the lights on in your apartment because you borrowing power from the neighbors. You barely pay. You don't pay your rent on time ever. So I can see you, you don't cook. I can see you want to travel the world in your hotels because you're lazy. And, you know, you think somehow you're just going to come into a bunch of money and be at a hotel for the rest of your life. And room service for the rest of your like the epitome of that's the height of stupidity, you know. And this and, and this goes with that mentality because when you want stuff but you don't take care of stuff, you want to set up your life to where everybody's taking care of your stuff for you. But somehow, that's successful. No. No. You know what I'm saying? It becomes problematic because now you got these issues where folks are cracking up. They having breakdowns. Why? Because they realize I don't have anything. Because you only get older. You don't get younger. So you you, you, you there are people who accumulated stuff because they took care of stuff, and then there are people who got rid of so much stuff and didn't take care of so much stuff that they don't have anything and then they want other people to share their stuff. And this is how thieves and robbers have a mentality, you know, of, how can I say this? Uh, 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 wanting everybody, want to take somebody, something from somebody else but they never have nothing. The other thing, in, in, in other contexts, you want, you want stuff like peace and cooperation with other people, but you can't cultivate those relationships because you want to always beef with people. You always want to have some drama going on, but you don't understand that, you know, you want this peace and coolness going on, but you never take care of it because you always starting drama. Now, people don't want to be around that. So now you don't get it. You don't get why nothing's happening. You know, uh, 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 when people say, you know, we need to come together, but then say, you know, this is why we can't never have nothing. But they start in drama with the people that they say we need to come together with. Don't make no sense. You know, you, you, you don't take care of the relationships. You know, um, I remember how you burn, you know, you're trying to build a network. You're trying to build some trust with somebody. You know, I, I, I want us to trust each other. But you're doing untrust. You know, brother, we need to come together. Trust me. You, you tried to sleep with my woman, dog. I want us to trust each other. That's what I want. I want, I want us to trust and build. <laughs> I, I'm not going to trust you. Period. You know, that's not going to happen. You know, who, you know what kind of stuff you do. But that was me yesterday. Today is a new me. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -mm. You know, 
Same thing with uh, uh um how can I say this? In life where people do something like <laughs> I'm trying not to cuss, okay? I want to be successful. That's what you want, you know? You want all of the stuff of success. But you don't want the work. You know, why we got to do all this? I just, I just want to, I just want to be famous and riding cars and living mansions, but this, the work is going to take. Um, I don't want to do all that, 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 that. I just want people to scream my name. So you just want to show up without being good, without having a skill. Oh, okay. It's not going to work, but go for it. Have at it. You know, but you want stuff, but you don't take care of stuff. So you don't take care of your business, but you want the success. Stupid. Um, I'm done on this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.